Designing for desktop is one thing, but what if you can take the same design you created for desktop and convert them into an iOS and Android mobile application? All this with just few prompts. In this video, I will show you three simple techniques to do exactly that. I'm going to walk with how I turn desktop web apps into native mobile designs without rebuilding them from scratch. First, we will edit the screen directly inside your expired using tailored prompt to match iOS visual styles. Then I will show you how to use the reference screen techniques to generate new layouts based on existing design. And finally, we'll use ChatGPT to analyze screenshot and rewrite the entire layout using platform specific guidelines so it looks and feels native. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Today, I want to show you how you can take a website that you designed in UX Pilot in a desktop size and convert it into a mobile size. Not only by making it responsive, and that's something that UX Pilot gives us by default, we will see also how to convert the web design you create a new Xpilot into an iOS or Android design systems. Let's start by creating the first web page on your Xpilot. We'll do it for financial app. On the header, I click on the gear icon. Then I paste this prompt. This app helps user track, understand, and manage your income and expenses with clarity. By connecting it to your bank account, it automatically categorizes every transaction, gives you a real-time view of where your money is going and how much is coming in. Whether it's monthly salary, subscription, bills, or shopping, the app keeps everything organized. I click on Save Changes. Let's select here High Fidelity Design. I select the standard model. And let's select Desktop Design. I click on the Expand icon. And here we'll add specific details about the page we want to generate. I paste it here. In this prompt, I paste again the prompts I add to the system. You can see it here. That's because many times I test UX Pilot when I duplicate the information, sometimes it's work better. It is not mandatory, but I found that sometimes it helps. Below, we can see the page details, a personal dashboard. This dashboard is designed to give an at glance summary of the finance help. And below the information, total income and expenses this month, upcoming bills, expected transactions, and more and more information that I want will appear on the dashboard. Let's click on tip design so the result will be more accurate. And I click update context. And now because we want to generate only one screen, we are ready. I will click on generate. And now we need to wait that UX Pilot will finish the work. For you, it will be one second. For me, one minute. It's finished the work. You can see here the dashboard is created. Let's make zoom in. We have left menu and the clear dashboard with all the information we ask you expert to create. Be aware that sometimes it's not create the exact page, so you can modify it or import to Figma and make the fixes there. But for that demonstration, I think we are okay. Remember that you can play with the screen to see how it's responsive. If I click on the screen, select here, I move it back and forth, and you can see that it's responsive. Like that. Or like that. Let's back it to 1440 width. Now, sometimes we want to create a mobile application. We want to adapt it to a specific design system, like iOS or Android, or your specific design system. There are different ways to do it, and let's start by the first one. I select the screen, then I click here on the edit, and select global edit. Here we can add information and what we want to change. I paste here the prompt, and let's move one moment to see it a little bit bigger. This is the prompt. Turn this page into a mobile design for iOS. Instruction, keep all the same content and information. Change the layout so it will fit iOS mobile screen. Use visual styles and patterns that match iOS, like spacing, buttons, fonts, etc. And the final result should look like an iOS app screen. Let's back to UX Pilot. I paste the prompt here, click on generate, and let's see what it will give us. It's finished the work and you can see the result here. Dashboard, income, expenses, and all the information here. The thing is that the page is a little bit wide, so what you can do is select the page and move it like that, and the size is adapted. Below, you can see the width of the page, and iPhone 16, I think, in 393. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's zoom in, and you can see now the application in an iOS design style. I go down, you can see all the information, and that is very cool because basically we took a web application converted to iOS very easily. I want to show another technique to do it. So I make a little bit zoom out and I click on the back button to move the first page we generated. And now the second way to do it is select this page, go to the left menu, scroll down and select here reference. What it will do now is select this page as a reference to generate another page. I change the screen type to application and delete the context. And I paste this prompt. Adapt the design for iOS application mobile size with iOS characters. So what happens here? I take the screen I created with UX Pilot and select as a reference on the left menu. What's happened now that UX Pilot understand all the information for this page 
and using to create another page. In that case, because I select mobile app and explain that I want iOS application, it will create the same page for iOS. Let's click on generate to see how it works. First of all, you can see that the size is now directly mobile size because we select on the screen type mobile size. And just before we continue to see the result, if you want to use your expired, I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's continue. Okay, it's finished. You can see here the result for the iOS application we built with the reference. You can see the style with the corners here. And if I go down, you can see that it's look like an Apple application. Maybe I will change here the menu, but it will be easy to do it in Figma after that. The next thing is to create with the same reference an Android application. I will paste the prompt. It's the same prompt, but here I add also the primary color. Adapt the design for Android application, mobile size with Android characters. The primary color must be pink. And I add here also the color number. I click on generate and now it will generate for us the same page for Android. Okay, it's finished the work. Let's make zoom in. You can see here the application that's created for us for Android. We have here the hamburger menu and the element. Still, I think it's a little bit look like Apple. So let's improve a little bit the prompt to see if we can get better result for Android. I go to ChatGPT, paste this prompt. I want to change the page to adapt it to Android design. So you need to describe the page, but for Android, the visual design must be Android mobile size, but it must contain the same information and content. Write me how the element needs to look to be more like Android. Write only how it should look for Android, the same page, but for Android. I go to Xpilot. Let's take this screenshot. Go to ChatGPT, paste the page here and execute. Now what will happen? ChatGPT understands all the information and creates for me specific information that this page will look exactly like Android. Then we will paste it on Xpilot and let's see the result. We have here the information, generate layout. It's explained exactly the typography, the color palette how the header shoe looks, the action buttons, spending categories, and more information about the page. Basically, it's better to read the information ChatGPT creates for us. So if you want to make some modification, you can do it from the prompt instead of do it after that. But in that case, for the demonstration, I'd copy it as is. Let's copy from here. Let's go to UX Pilot. Click here to expand. I paste here the information ChatGPT created for us. Click on update context and click on generate. Now I hope it will give us more Android look. But in general, this is the technique. Go to ChatGPT, ask to give you some more detailed information, paste in your expert, and then it should give you better result. Okay, this is the result. You can see it here. I don't sure it's changed it very much for Android. Maybe I need to add more information to the cards, for example, like add zero corners radius and more visual information so it will look like Android. But as I said, this is the technique. If I change a little bit more information in the prompt, I am sure I will get more Android look. Before I move to the last technique, just remember that you can also import a design system from Figma to your Xpilot and generate the screens based on the design system. I have a video about that. I will put it below in the description so you can take a look. You just need to select on the left menu here, the model you imported to your Xpilot. I have four different design systems here. Basic design system, fractal design system, no brutalist and Edoche design system. This one I imported to your Xpilot and they serve it to create screen for the application I designed. But if you want to make specific for iOS or Android, you can import them for your Xpilot and use them here. Now, the last technique that I want to show you is to take the first screen we created in your Xpilot, go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to describe the same screen for iOS application. First of all, let's click here and eliminate the reference. I also clean the context and for now we are okay. I will go now to the first screen we generated, that screen. And now I will download it as a PNG, click on the three dots here, export, select image and export. Now let's go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to describe this page for an iOS application. I drag the image we exported from Xpilot here and I write this prompt. I want to change the page and make it fit for iOS design. You need to describe how the page will look on iPhone. The design must be the size of an iPhone screen, but it should keep all the same content and information. You must explain everything the page shows and also describe in details how the iOS design will look. Let's execute. You can see here the result. It's explained what the sizes of the screens, the navigation, how the headers should look, the section, section number two, section number three, section number four, and all the information. One thing that I want to do before copy it and paste it into UX Pilot, it's say to ChatGPT to create for me the same description, but without emojis and in markdown. 
I paste the prompt, rewrite it without emojis and in markdown as a code block. Let's execute and in the meantime, we generate the prompt. I just let you know that I do it because basically if I add emojis, it can add more information to the prompt that sometimes I don't want. And also in this way of markdown, the LLM model normally understand better the information. It's finished, I click on copy. Let's go to Xpilot, paste it on the context, select mobile design, and now let's click on generate. It's finished the work, let's make zoom in. And I really like what I see here. You can see that it looks very like iOS design. I go below with all the information. You can see the menu here and all the information. And I think it looks very much like iOS design. Now before finish, let's do the same for Android and see the result. I go now to ChatGPT. Let's paste the prompt. I like the result. Now I add the same page to Android. So the same page will look for Android design mobile size. Write it with many details as the iOS prompt, but for Android style. Execute. It's finished the work. I copy the prompt. Go to UX Pilot. Paste here on the context. Click on generate. Let's wait to see the result. I hope we'll get now more visual design for an Android application. It's finished the work. Let's zoom in. You can see here the result. Like we have all the information here. Spending trends. As you can see, it didn't add in that time corner radius and they are sharp. So this is interesting. And basically, if you look a little bit more like Android application, I think I need to change a little bit more to make it more close to material design. But I think it did a great job. Let's make zoom out. And here it's how it looks when I make a little bit zoom out. This is all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Take care.